sick. So we're going to paint the Heroclix Fantastic Four Deep Cuts miniatures today. Dilly dilly. All right, so we all know that these are the Fantastic Four Deep Cuts figures, right? And I know you guys are thinking, oh, but Calder, we thought you hated the Fantastic Four. And it's true, I do. But due to the fact that it's Captain America's 80th anniversary, there were a bunch of these really cool variant covers. You know, let me just show you here really quick. So bada bing, bada boom. Oh, whoopsies, hit the camera. Haha. <laughs> uh, bada bing, bada boom. This is the Fantastic Four's variant cover for Captain America. So despite the fact that I hate the Fantastic Four, once I saw this variant cover, and I could paint them all like Captain America, I was like, hey, you know what? Now I can actually have an excuse to get the deep cuts. And also, the deep cuts dials are pretty cool anyways, so I kind of wanted them. Um, this was just like the selling point. So, WizKids, you can thank uh, whatever artist drew this variant cover, or you can just thank Marvel, or you can, you can thank Captain America for getting my, like, 30, 20-ish dollars, or whatever. But yeah, these are the designs we're going to be using for our deep cuts today. All right, so we it starts obviously we gotta get these bad boys on the I'm looking for shields to use here. I uh, couldn't find any, so I'm just gonna use the normal Captain Americas. Here I put clay on top of uh, little pieces of paint, and that way it's like a good base to try to paint these figures on without getting the bases all gross. Putting on the orange on thing here, and now let's see what do I go to. Oh yeah, we have to heat form Mr. Fantastic so he looks slightly more how the cover looks, which is nice. Adding the blue, of course, to everybody now. Uh, probably, I think, the easiest color, I think, to add. Probably should have done the red first, but uh, we did the blue since that was, like, the majority colors here. The thing has trunks on, um, but the sculpt itself is a Speedo, so that's going to look kind of weird, but that's all right. Uh, thing needed a lot of touch-ups because I had to uh, paint over some of the orange there. Uh, this is not part of the video. <laughs> this, that, that human torch right there is a different project, so don't don't pay too much attention to it. Uh, adding all the red, so the red is fairly easy for everybody but Mr. Fantastic. Uh, human torch was also a little difficult to add the red to, but. Yeah, Mr. Fantastic here with his weird elongated body to add the red stripes for the abdomen was like, ah, uh, so it's such a struggle to keep those relatively straight lines. But I think it makes it look wonky and I think that's fine. The thing was easy. Uh, this is obviously the yellow hair for Sue. Uh, adding more to the thing. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, and then all the orange for Johnny's flame trail. I wanted to keep that orange. Uh, cutting up the shields here. These are all Secret Wars Battle World Captain Americas. I wanted to use the translucent shield for Sue because I just think that fits the best, obviously, for her because she's an invisible girl. So I enjoyed that. We didn't add a shield to the Human Torch because, like I said earlier, I couldn't find a shield. Uh, but he, he looks fine the way he is right now. We'll probably add a shield sometime in the future, uh, gluing the hands together so Mr. Fantastic has his shield the same way it's posed on the comic and making sure the shield is in the correct hands uh, that are on the comic cover just so it's slightly more accurate. Here I'm going to add all like the white stars and stuff to right, them. Right guys, this is the finished product. I gotta say, Thing is probably my favorite because he came out the best. Probably because he's just the biggest. Uh, Johnny and Thing, I think definitely both could utilize a black wash slash a dry brushing. Uh, I did not do any of that. Uh, I just was just like, you know, let's paint them up. Let's get them the colors they should be. And I did it. I liked the way Mr. Fantastic uh, came out looking all goofy and stretched out and everything. And I got to say, Sue is also probably my second favorite after Thing. I really liked the way she came out uh, using that clear shield for her. I got to say, guys, I know it's been a long time since these figures came out, but I had a lot of fun painting them. So let me know in the comments below what deep cuts figures uh, that you've painted and then which ones do you want them to turn into deep cuts? So did you paint some of the X-Men ones? Did you paint these Fantastic Four ones, you know? And then what figures, you know, what characters do you want them to turn into deep cuts paints? And then, uh, yeah, let me know, guys. I really appreciate it. And then this video, I got these figures from the stadium. So good friend of the show, Alex Morse, hooked me up with these. Not sponsored, but, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Maybe in the future he'll, uh, he'll sponsor a video series, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, but, yeah, guys. Uh, I know I said I don't like the Fantastic Four, but this variant cover made me want to do it. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I can't wait to play these figures. So like always, happy trails.